Hi everybody. In this video, um, there will not be any sewing. I have wanted to make a man's suit jacket for a long time and I have not been able to find a video that explains how to do the pad stitching um, step by step, you know, what, what, what materials I need. This is how you cut it. This is where you place it. This is how you do it. If you guys find anything like that, or if you know of a video, please link it in the um, comment section below because I would love to see it. Um, so I haven't done it yet because I don't know how to do it. I don't know what it looks like. I'm more of a visual person, so I want to be able to see it, you know, instead of just reading about it. I don't follow written instructions very well. So um, this is something I really want to do. And since I don't know how to, I've never seen it done step by step. I bought a jacket. And in this video, I am just going to deconstruct the top of the jacket, turn it inside out, and see if I can get the information I need from this jacket. Okay, this is the jacket I chose. It is a, sorry, my, my chair is rickety. I'm house sitting, and so I'm kind of limited on where I can record. Um, Joss A. Bank is the brand, if that's the way you pronounce it, I don't know. So, like I said, I probably won't go into the body down here because I do alterations anyway, and so I kind of already know what's there. And it feels like there is something in here more than just um, your lining and your fabric. So, I guess I'll start with the collar. I probably won't do much talking and I'll probably do a little bit of time lapse um, because I really don't want this to be a boring video. But in case you're all wondering what's in here as well, um, I did want to make a video of it. And <laughs> I just tore the jacket. I just cut the jacket. And I guess I'm not really concerned about that because I'm not putting it back together. This is just for exploratory purposes only. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, I got the top open and it had some stitching where the facing meets the lining and it kind of tacked it to this padding. I don't know what any of this stuff is called. Um, it does look like a felt material. And then you can see stitching right here. And this the sleeve cap is sewn on by hand. I don't know if that was done in the making of the jacket or if the jacket was altered because I've never seen a job, a sewing job on a new jacket look this unprofessional, but then I'm not familiar with this brand of jacket either. So I'm gonna try and turn this inside out as much as I can. Okay, so this is the part I was looking for. I basically wanted to see um, how much of the front of the jacket is lined with this padding. I don't know how far down it's supposed to go. So hopefully I can kind of get some of this information, but it it looks like it might be kind of difficult. Now see the stitching right here? This is where they kind of whip stitched this 
seam allowance to the front of the jacket so it doesn't separate from it. It, it, it acts as one piece, it looks like. Okay, this looks like, does it come down all the way? I'm gonna have to cut around the buttonholes in order for me to get this completely turned um, inside out. Okay, that looks like it comes down, there's the pocket, down all, almost all the way to the end of the jacket, probably a few inches from the end. So basically this is what I was looking at as far as like what's inside the jacket um, and how to do it. I don't know if there is a reason for the stitching to do this, kind of a zigzag or if it's that per that particular person's uh, this does, company's way of doing it. And this doesn't look like anything that I've seen other um, people show in pad stitching. I follow one guy and this is not what it looks like when he does it. He is a master craftsman though. So Maybe there's just a difference between someone who is uh, that kind of old school tailor and maybe just a factory that, that produces these. So that looks like the shoulder pads. Okay, the shoulder pad is sewn directly onto the sleeve lining. See if I can get this loose. And then I want to see how this is stitched to the actual fabric or if it's um, like an adhesive. Okay, it's not. It doesn't look like it's um, an adhesive. Because I was worried, I thought this pad stitching went straight to the jacket and then I wondered how come there was no like pull marks because sometimes even if you grab a couple threads, I was afraid it would pull from the front. But this is sewn into the armhole lining. That's the armhole. This is... Is this the collar roll? Yeah, that's what it looks like. So you have this, I don't know what you call it. To me, it's like not as thin or not as thick as a canvas, but is that the buckram? This is the pocket, mock pocket. There's actually another pocket. And then there's this, is it some kind of like sewing interfacing? I'm not sure. So basically this stitching, I guess, is to keep it to, okay, so there's one layer here, another layer. This is kind of a thick, this is not quite as crispy as this one, as crisp. And this looks like there's an, an iron-on interfacing on the actual fabric.
And what I was concerned with is I know that depending on your fabric, when you iron on interfacing, you can sometimes see where it's ironed on and when it ends and it's not ironed on. And I just didn't want that look. So it looks like the whole front piece, I don't think that's the inside of the fabric. That's got to be an iron on. I don't know because this is the fabric here, the inside. This is the inside of this fabric, but it's different. So I'm thinking this has a, a thin layer of iron on interfacing. And then there's layers over it. Now, what is this for? That's the dart on the jacket. Another buttonhole, I think, to get around this. Okay. That. Okay, so that's the full, that's the call, that's the lapel coming back. And then there's some interfacing here. That's the, the roll they're talking about. And I thought that's where the pad stitching goes. According to other videos um, I've watched, trying to pick up this information. This is another iron on. I can see the adhesive. So you have the three layers here and then you have, it looks like these are just layered as shoulder pads. They're not like real shoulder pads that you would buy already constructed in the store. So there's one, two, three, four layers there. So yeah, I guess my curiosity is, has been satisfied. It goes from the, the shoulder seam all the way down past the pocket and only sewn into that roll on the lapel and the armhole and then it doesn't even look like it's sewn into the side seam so that's what it looks like if you guys want any more type of videos like this let me know because um i'm just a very curious person anyway so i might actually take this take these out and keep them kind of harvest them for my own project if i decide to make a jacket after all. So it looks like I jumped the gun and turned off the video too soon, but I wanted to show you, uh, because after I stopped the video, I kept going, and I wanted to show you what I found, which is very, it's good information. I'm glad I, I uh, went ahead and, and finished looking around, and um, actually it was because I was trying to harvest all this stuff out of the jacket. So I start taking this apart, just ripping it off, and look what I find. On the inside of the sleeve cap is this lining. And I'm so glad I found it because this could be some very useful information. Um, if you take a look at jack these jackets and how they're constructed and and how it in certain areas it look like there's body like the sleeve around the sleeves and this is why 
because they have this stuff in there to help it to keep it from looking real uh, pressed and flat. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know, let me see if it matters what parts of the front, what parts of the back. I, it might because this is a thicker and I think it was back in the back. So yes, that was good information. You've got your shoulder pad here and then you have that other padding. I don't know what it's called. If anybody knows, let me know. I don't know what this is called, but it was on the inside of the sleeve cap. So yes, that was all I found though. So that's it. I hope you guys like the video. Um, if you do, give it a thumbs up. Um, consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.